So Nicholas Vies reporting, also known as the governor for the United States Congress 2014. Guess what, Nicholas Vies fans? I have more clout than the Peabody Memphis. So Nicholas Vies reporting, clout score of the Peabody is 59%. And Nicholas Vies, the governor, has a clout score of 64%. How much influence, how much power can Nicholas the governor Pegues has? More than the Peabody Hotel. Talk about what is a Republican or maybe a young monarchist. A corporate appreciation to all of my fans on Facebook. Nicholas Pegues reporting. So Nicholas Pegues reporting also known as the governor of the United States Congress 2014 regarding a write-in Republican candidate in Tennessee's 8th Congressional District and of course Princess Beatrix. This is your elected American boyfriend speaking as promoted on Facebook has more clout than NBC News first read. Nicholas Pegues reporting of course NBC News first read is all about politics and so is Nicholas the Governor Pegues for the United States Congress 2014. Also, how did I get so much clout? Because I influence the world. Seeing in that kind of Memphis. So Nicholas Figueres reporting. I would like to wish a happy Wednesday to my Facebook friends and fans from around the world. And of course in London, England, and especially at Buckingham Palace. I was so very touched at Prince William, Prince Harry, and of course Princess Beatrix. I am your elected American boyfriend. Came here to Memphis, Tennessee. I also like to give a big corporate appreciation to her sister, Princess Eugenie. Did anyone know that Princess Eugenie came as well? She's very awesome and a very special person to me as well. Um, you know, as um, the school year begins to close here in Memphis, Tennessee, I would like to, um, you know, give a corporate appreciation to all the educators here in Memphis and Shelby County, whether they're public or private schools. Um, they all um, play a part in the role of the generations here in Memphis, Tennessee. Something unique that I'm doing, I, and I will continue to do as long as I'm a public figure and have the time to do it here in Memphis, Tennessee, is a year in review of the school system. You know, um, our schools are, are, in, are in great reform. And I want to get to the bottom of what creates failures, successors, and, you know, what creates, um, you know, our society um, the way that we see it and how can we redesign this society here in the 21st century. You know, um, I take great pride in my work as a senior, well, as a former senior, our reporter of Memphis. And now that every video is special, on YouTube and of course on my other sites. I um, just just want to give everyone a big corporate appreciation and thank uh, my global audience from around the world for continuing to follow me, continue to keep track of everything, Nicholas the Governor, please, because that is a title of distinction. It distinguishes me from other people in the community. It's kind of like um, my own unique leadership title. So I'd like to give a big corporate appreciation to Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam and of course, First Lady Chrissy Haslam, for um, distinguishing me and making me, um, you know, honoring me as who I am as a hereditary leader, as a descendant of Victoria Village College Chapel Historic District. At any rate, um, this year was very exciting. I really enjoyed um, inspiring my generation to public service. We had a lot of great times here in Memphis, Tennessee. I wish it could have been better, but you know, it, it, it's life. Things happen, you know, um, we have frictions in politics and I, I sometimes let uh, political figures get into my uh, get in my way of what I wanted to do really to inspire my generation to public service. Um, you know, I um, love inspiring my generation to public service. I love making creative reports. I love being a a a a, a good journalist for all the people. I represent the community, not just one political party, not just one segment of the population, but I represent Memphis, Tennessee. But unfortunately, you know, sometimes politics get in the way. But at any rate, I would like to express that we had a successful year here in Memphis, Tennessee, to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, to all members of the royal families who follow me on Facebook, and that uh, Memphis is a great city. So I would like to inspire everyone to come here and tour Memphis this summer. So Nicholas Figueres reporting, um, here's a picture that Princess Malin sent to me. So um, Nicholas Figueres reporting would like to encourage other members of the royal family to come here to visit the summer here in Memphis, Tennessee. And of course, Princess Beatrix, this is your elected American boyfriend speaking. Uh, we had a great successful year here in Memphis, Tennessee. And of course, here is the unopened letter of the president of the United States, which has not been opened for two months. Can you believe that to inspire cultural diversity? And it's going to stay that way. So, you know, I am a writing Republican candidate for the United States Congress 
in um, Tennessee's 8th Congressional District to inspire my generation to public service. But I'd like to um, also encourage that, that my generation become more involved in the community, become more educated, and become a part of the global community. I had a, such a great success um, story this year until I'm just proud of my generation. My generation has done a great job. They have done the best that they could have done. Um, my generation, in fact, this is one of the best eras of a young generation that I've ever seen Memphis as. So in honor of that, it's attached to my video, Prince William and Prince Harry getting out um, of the run. They were born into their cars, respected places. But at any rate, I'm so proud of my generation. And that video will be, you know, every every time that I will express something of greatness that I am proud of my generation to, I will attach the video of Prince William and, of course, Prince Harry getting into their vehicles in downtown Memphis. I'm so proud of my generation and my crown is your crown. So we're crowned together. I'm proud of Memphis. May God save the queen and Princess Beatrix. This is your elected American boyfriend. Thank you and may God save the queen. And I have, I'm now proud to announce that I'm going to do a year in review regarding the school system. Nicholas Peace reported, CNN Icon of Memphis launches the year in review. 2014 CNN Icon of Memphis. May God save the Queen and a corporate appreciation to Prince William, Prince Harry, and Princess Beatrix, and of course, Princess Eugenie. Nicholas Figgis reporter, CNN Icon of Memphis. Thanks for visiting Memphis and may God save the Queen as a descendant of Victorian Village, College Chapel, Historic District. And here is my other segment of the video. Nicholas Figgis reporting. Prince Harry here in Memphis, Tennessee, and of course, Princess Beatrix, I am your elected American boyfriend, promoted on Facebook. Nicholas Beatrix reporter. Here he comes. Right behind them, Nicholas Reese reporting. Seeing an icon of Memphis. There he is. Nicholas Reese reporting. Princess Beatrix is his elected American boyfriend. Documenting this. It was Prince Harry. Awesome, awesome. Nicholas McGee's reporting. All right. And here we are in Memphis, Tennessee. Nicholas McGee's reporting. Documenting Prince William and Prince Harry on Nicholas McGee's. God save the Queen. And Princess Beatrix, I am your elected American boyfriend. Only on Nicholas McGee's. CNN Icon of Memphis. Excuse me.